Hello everyone. Well, today's job is going to be to do the side flays or side pods, whatever you want to call them, on the van, um, which obviously involves cutting out the large holes again, uh, which I'm going to use the hand nibbler, which I've got here. So there's the hand nibbler. So I'm going to show the hand nibbler in use this time because they didn't show it in the last video. So we'll show that going forward uh, so you can see exactly how the hand nibbler works no sparks no really no swarf either to be honest it's really really clean and neat doing the job so um i'll show you i've marked up uh, the perimeter first so you can see i've marked the perimeter at the top on these uh, support braces which need to be cut out first before you, i can actually use the, the electric nibbler to cut the panel out this is just to give me a line really to follow it's much easier if you just do that with a line You'll follow it across um, and just cut these out uh, much easier, I think, than using um, an angle grinder because it's a lot less clean up to do inside the vehicle. So I've done that side there and I've marked this set up ready as well. Uh, I'm going to do one set at a time, complete one side at a time though, like I did with the, the windows. Just in case we have any issues with weather. I mean, it, it's nice and sunny at the moment, but who knows, it could change. So uh, let's get on and... Uh, get these cut out with a hand nibbler first. Okay, so I was in a time lapse, but this is so quick and easy to do, I thought I'd better do our own video as well. No swarf, as you can see, perfect coil of metal cut and perfectly cut along the seams there. And no sparks, nothing whatsoever. Very, very easy to use. Very, very simple to use. Go. That's all of those cut out. Apologies for the car just going past, but that's all of those cut out now, so I can get these off. Just pull them off. There we go, number one. Number two. And we are now ready to drill through to get the nibbler going. Okay, so we're ready now to start drilling uh, the pilot holes through for the, the, the electric nibbler to go through. Um, so I've covered up the inside here. I've done the same on the outside as well. Uh, this is obviously to stop any swarf or as much swarf as possible going down inside the van or down the outside of the van as well. So it makes cleaning a lot easier when you've actually cut the panel out. So I'll just get set up now and drill a couple of uh, holes through ready for the, uh, the nibbler to start its job. Okay, so as we can see, I've got the two holes drilled in here now. This is so that the nibbler can go through and then we can cut down and follow this edge all the way around. Um, this is the nibbler that I've got. It's a Parkside electric nibbler. Done a fantastic job doing the windows. 
really follows the line all the way around makes life a lot easier you haven't got a mark at the outside etc goes all the way around and does a, a neat job leaves a, a lovely neat finish as well on the edge to be honest so we'll uh, we'll get on and plug this in and start cutting it out now top note Neatly cut inside of the van. As you can see, it follows that line lovely all the way around. Does a beautiful job. A little bit here and there, but tidy that up with a file now. And we're pretty much ready to get on with uh, the bonding of the pod. But uh, I would certainly recommend these electric nibblers to anybody who's thinking about doing a job like this because as you can see it is so quick, so easy and gives you a lovely neat finish so there's hardly any sort of tidying up work to do afterwards. Um, you can see inside the van look there's hardly any mess in the van and pretty much I think most of the mess is outside there which can be swept up later on. So I would definitely recommend one of these nibblers and the Parkside one here, I mean this does the job perfectly as you can see and this was actually £59, £59.99 on eBay including delivery so no need to buy your expensive Makitas or anything like that, two or three hundred pounds especially if you're only going to do a job like we only intend, probably only intend to do one build on this for now, maybe in the future I don't know but it certainly saves us a lot of money by doing the windows, each pod and the fan at the top 
that has more than paid for itself um, just by doing this one vehicle. So uh, I would definitely recommend those. So we'll get on tidying this up now with a file and then we'll go on to the next process. Okay, so I've gone round the entire edge that's going to bond to the van now with um, some 180 grit sandpaper just to key the surface up there as you can see. So it gives a, a good mechanical bond to the van. I've done the same on the van uh, panel as well where this is going to bond to. Um, just to give that extra sort of mechanical bond when it when the adhesive the PU adhesive goes on there So just got to clean all this down now um, I'll show you the van and um, you can see where the van is is done as well Okay, there's the van edge now and um, we've painted the edge obviously because that's a raw edge where it's been cut I don't know whether you can see Probably yeah, just pick it up in the camera there how I've gone over just this area here where it's flatter It's just to take the shine off the paint and give it a key so that the PU adhesive will bond to that. Done that all the way around. Um, so we're ready now to get the adhesive onto the pod and then push it into place. Um, now I know a lot of people use tape to hold these to stop them sort of sliding or whatever. But um, <clears throat> the gentleman who I bought these off, Tony from Leeds, um, I think it's A to B conversions, um, he's recommended we use clamps because the edge here lines up with the edge of the pod outside so um, I've got some of these little clamps now hoping to clamp this top and bottom um, and we'll see how that works out if not I think I'll resort back to the tape like I did on the windows but anyway let's get this adhesive onto the pod and then we can get it in place okay so we've got the bonding P adhesive on um, nice continuous bead all the way around like there is with a window you can't have any gaps really because that's when you're gonna have leaks which uh, nobody wants a leak um, so this is the stuff i've used the pu40fc adhesive um, which was recommended by tony again who supplied the pods so let's get this pod up in place now and we can try and get it uh, pressed into the correct place and clamped or taped in place whichever is going to need to be done so let's crack on with that okay so there's the flare or pod whichever you want to call it bonded in place looks quite nice down the profile of the van um, a little bit of the sealant the, the pee would he's oozing which was <laughs> a bit of a nuisance to clean off but there we are you've got to clean it off before it cures but it's all nice and clean now all bonded in lovely and as we can see inside as advised all clamped in place so that can stay in place now, holding it on until that adhesive uh, cures, which they say overnight, but I'll give it a good 24, 48 hours probably. I don't need to use the van, so um, I think that's a nice job. Well done, because it seems to be, you know, looks for, looks really good, really smart. And like I said, we've got the sliding windows with the um, fly screens, the same as the, the windows in the front. So um, that's all good there. So, now we're going to do this side, so let's crack on with that side. Okay, so there we have the other side in and looking lovely. Um, it's a good fit here, as we can see. One thing I forgot to mention is that you do need to buy <clears throat> the, I think it's called a California uh, hinge, uh, roller hinge in here, this middle roller hinge. Um, the chap who I bought, Tony, who bought these off, I'm pretty sure it's a, a to be conversions um, on eBay. Uh, he supplies those roller hinges as well. So it brings, when you pop the door out, it brings the door right out here and gives you plenty of clearance so that you're not in any danger of damaging the, the pod. Um, you cannot really fit these pods without that roller hinge um, attachment uh, being done uh, because they were just bash into the side of the pod and damage the pod and it'd be a non-starter really um, this roller is quite an easy one to change all I did with this was pop the door open to give you access to the four there's four bolts on the back you need to unclip this so this clips top and bottom there's another pop clip in there which it pulls off this section then just taps back out so open the door slightly I put um, a jack under the door, the bottom edge of the door then, with a block on, and took the weight of the door before I unbolted. 
when I actually unbolted this then the door stayed pretty much exactly where it was before it didn't move um, you just roll the, hin the roller back out along the end pop it out pop the new one back in back up and put your four bolts in tighten them up and it's job done it is quite it is literally that simple it wasn't really a difficult job at all um, and as you can see that looks lovely nice shiny black finish on these to match the windows because it's a white band sort of break up the, the big white side a little bit so that's the outside there as you can see again all clamped in place rather than taping from the outside the clamps really do pull it nice and tight to give you that good squidge for want of a better word um, on the adhesives so that it oozes and you're going to get a good um, tight seal and a nice tight bond as well over the over that surface inside a um, little bit of a wipe up around where we had a little bit of a, a seep through on the top and the side but nothing at major again but you need to make sure you clean that off obviously before um, this stuff sets because when this stuff sets it would be an absolute nightmare so there we are both sides done happy days took approximately about four hours i think in total not rushing obviously um but about four hours so um i hope that helps anybody out there uh, if you've got any questions pop them in the comments and um, i'll try and help i'm no professional by any means but obviously i um i've done my research there's a lot of stuff on youtube showing you how to fit these the same as it is with fitting windows so i've not really done a, a, a proper in-depth one but it, i've shown you how i've done it um pretty much was the same process for the windows as well really but uh it helps so hopefully if uh, someone's getting stuck and they can sort of see that you can do it pretty much easily enough and as i've said using that hand nibbler on the inside it's so much easier you don't get any sparks everywhere it's so much easier and cleaner to do it that way 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 better so uh, i hope that's been uh, of use uh, to uh, anybody that's sort of looking to fit these pods um, and again like i say if you've got any questions or um, comments check them in the comments section and um, i'll see if i can ad sort of advise any other way um, I'll check uh, that it is um, A to B um, conversions. I think that's what the, they're called. Um, I, what I'll do is I'll stick a link in the, um, the description to uh, the eBay page uh, where I've ordered these from. And you can get in touch with them if you want to look at these or buy these uh, for yourself. Anyway, thanks again for watching and uh, I hope to see you on the next one. Bye now.